hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you are new you are welcome for the old subscribers thank you for sticking around so today's video i'm going to be sharing with you some means of transportation in moscow the capital city of russia so right now i'm in one of the suburban city which is called Demadedova, and i will be from here heading to the city and i'll be sharing other means by which people used to commute around Moscow and within Moscow. So first of all, I'll be starting with what they call electrichka, which is one of the oldest means of transportation in Moscow before this, some of these uh, metros were built. So let's go. The Matedova station. Basically, you see the casa. This is how it looks like, basically. Around the stations, you can see stores different stores this ones they just they were just installed recently so there are no occupants yet so i'm heading towards the main center this the previous one i showed was the newly created platform but this is how the old platform looks like chance that can take you to your house or wherever you are living so basically when you move when you come out from the distance so another thing to note is in moscow suburban city their bus have different color they can be they are painted white and this is the station basically so this is the whole station so these machines are the machines where you can buy your tickets these ones are old but you can pay with card cash and coins basically tickets here you can see time tables this from most you can see them according to time so this one means bodhni means uh, during working days this one is during weekends and this one is every day so So basically this is how the station of looks like this is how most of the stations looks like in other suburban cities in moscow that are beside moscow no different mostly in the structure of the stations so basically this is how it looks like
So I just stepped down to join the subway because this electric car, they don't go inside the city. It's only metro that can run inside the city. So I have to drop in one of the stations so as I can continue my journey. So this station is called Vashov Sky. So this is how the platform looks like basically. So I said before, almost all the whole platforms, they look alike. Or would I say all this electric electric car station? Or would I call it suburban? Suburban station, they all look alike. You can see new apartments are being built around this area. But mostly the death you see here is cigarettes. Mostly, and no, they, they try to clean it almost every two to two hours. So I believe in the next few hours, you might not see a lot of this dead. So basically, this is how it looks like. I'm going to the metro now. This ticket that I bought, it can it lasts for 24 hours. Even if I miss my previous train, I can use it for the next train throughout that day. So, these ones are the old ones, these ones are the new ones. They can pay with card. Mostly. So, yeah. so automatically it has expired. I can't use it again. For me to go back, I need to buy new one. This is called Shosuke Underground Metro. It's where I'm heading to. station now to switch so this is the second means of transportation in moscow metro subway and it's very fast <coughs> the this machine i'm going to use it to check how much i'm having in my point So I mean, this is the amount I'm having. So I want to pop up. You can use this machine to, to pay to put your toy. I'll be using this Troy card, the Metro card, to pay for my trip. Oh, oops. I said I should try again. So I tap again. So a ride is 54 rubles. You see these ladies, they're the ones that check your card if you use expired one or your mother's card to pay for yourself. They're crazy. But they will not disturb me because they saw my card. My card, no, I can't use another person's card. So these, I'm in Vashovska Metro. You can see that train sign, meaning urban city station is nearby. So I'm going to Nizhny Novgorsk, Nizhny Gorsky. That's the place. You can see it is 0, 0, 42. So in the next 40 seconds, 39, 38, my next train should be arriving. But let me show you how this station looks. These are one of the stations that have been built recently, maybe like four or five years ago. So it's remaining 15 seconds, 14 seconds, 13 seconds, 12 seconds. And I will tell you guys, Metro, they always arrive on time. 
that's one of the i would say this is one of the fastest and the best means of transportation in moscow because bus sometimes they can be go slow although they have their own way they have their own parts but sometimes they can delay but once you use metro even taxi can also be delayed so this is one of the latest metro station in moscow they do have usb called you can see there is a usb call where you can charge your phone if you are running down off if, if your battery is low there is also a map which you can check where you are at the moment and see where you have to interconnect see have you have where you have to connect if you don't mind you can increase it you can zoom it you can also change it to english language i'll scroll down but first see where i'm going i'm going to this purple line pink line 15 line 15 this is a usb slot you can also plug your phone or plug anything you want to charge down there you can see abc represents english language let me type it here you can see everything is now in english language and you can zoom in you can zoom out so basically metro in moscow and they also have wi-fi you can connect to Wi-Fi and if you are sitting, you don't have to go near to that map. If you are sitting, you can connect your phone, you can charge your phone while you are still sitting. So you can see I'm sitting, I can charge my phone. They made a lot of slots and this is also the card I'm using. You can download the app if you are in Moscow. You can download it. It's also helpful for you so you can know where you are going to, where to connect. You can also tell you the cheaper, the easiest route to take. It's very easy so basically this is how a moscow metro station looks like there are lots of different kind of trains that run under this metro but now i've gotten to my destination so i'll be going to where the other third means of transportation in moscow which is called mcd mseka sorry mseka which is moskowski Centrani Calzo, which means Moscow Central Circle. This one goes around Moscow. So I decided to check how much is left on my card. Free transfer. So I just missed one. There is, there is no problem. This is how the platform looks like. It's kind of cold today. That's why I'm wearing hoodie. It's windy here because of some empty places. So basically, I'm standing in one of the stations called Moskovsky Central Circle, MCK. So basically, it goes around Moscow. That's why I call it MCK because it goes around. That's another station. So here you can see the timetable, the time when the next train will come in the next five minutes. Also, 
in the station you can see this machine coffee machines and also power back machine so if you are running down if your battery is low you can just scan this QR code and you can get access to take your battery or a power bank to charge your phone also there is this fast food gas fast food also you can see there is a machine where you can get water and snacks if, or an energy drink if you feel thirsty or hungry you can pay with your card or cash so this is how the train looks like also on the station you can see a plastic my train just arrived so i'll be riding with this train i'll be entering inside to share with you how it looks like this is one of the best because it's so quiet it has a lot of charging spot a lot of space and it's always clean and sound proof so you can possibly read this is the toilet you can possibly read while you are riding and tell it. it has a comfortable tab chair you can place your laptop if you want to work or your coffee while you are riding to work or riding to your destination see how quiet and how clean it is so comfortable not like the electric car or like the metro that is a little bit here you can be market also there is free wi-fi there is a transmit television but this one also show you where you are and there is a charging spot you came with the charging head can charge your you can plug your phone and charge So now I'll be leaving to join the third mint, which is MCD. You can see D4, it means MCD, Moscow Central Diameter. I'm coming back to the same station where I switched to join this MCK. Now I'm going to switch to join MCD. And this is the timetable. So MCD basically looks like a electric car, but it's a little bit more advanced. And their timing is quite different. Electric car, the spacing might be 20 or 15 minutes, but here, here is quite different. And the trains running in MCD is quite different from the ones running in electric car. But the machine, here the prices are quite different. It depends on the distance where you are going to. So if you are buying a ticket with the machine, automatically it will show you the amount you have to pay to get to your destination from the moment, from the place you are standing, from the station you are standing right now. So you can see from my station to the next two stations, I have to pay 52 rubles. And this is how the train looks. They are painted white with a yellow and gray color mostly it's sign of showing stop urban cities color even buses that run in those cities they also are painted yellow with a touch of white and gray you can see the difference between mcd mck metro and electric car that i used in the beginning this is another type of mcd too either this one or the other one It's 100 space, free Wi-Fi, 
trying to use the next part which is tramvai so i'll be using the metro to get to the station where i'll be using so you can see i dropped from the mcd i left and went straight to metro and i just climbed out of the metro to see this one called tramvai this is a tramvai although it's not everywhere in the city it runs but it's mostly in the center and some areas around the center You can see how clean the car the train is there's camera and also you can pay with the troika you can pay with your mastercard or visa card on mir usually the cost is the same 54 rubles, the same as bus the same as metro so and secondly if as i left metro now i paid 54 if i was to use this and i've not extended i've not been my card have not been I could extend my payment So now I'll be showing you guys that's the fifth method. Bus stations are mostly like this. The bus will arrive now. Good. And there is time table. Usually here the time when the next bus will come usually it get displayed here but unfortunately it's like it's not working now so let's see the the bus it's possible see how clean it is see the they always be they always come to remove it after some few hours and you can wait there is a charging port wi-fi charging port and camera So the buses are electric bus. They don't use gas, so that's why you don't see any fume and the, no air pollution. Everything is pure electricity. As you can see, I paid with my Troika, my Metro card, and I was it was deducted 27 rubles because. I've not spent more than 60 minutes outside the time I used my metro card. So the next trip I'll be doing having will be 60 50% discount. That's why it's usually 54 rubles ready to have not spent more than 60 minutes the last time I used my card. So I was given a discount of 50%, which makes this 27 rubles. But if I have not used it before, the first trip is 54 rubles. Also, the other means of transportation during the most struggling summer is motorcycles, bicycles, and also these electric cars. <laughs> 